we asked a question in how many ways can we pick three elements from five elements right three from five there's a notation for this for ease of usage we call it 5p3 in how many ways can you pick three elements from five elements right where ordering is important three friends will stand in different ways each way is considered different from the other right there are three factorial ways with three friends and we enumerated that the 60 ways that we got is basically the representation 5p3 this is just a standard one needn't worry much about it but whenever you see a symbol like this in general npr it means that this is a question of picking r people from n people and these are people taking different photos of them and the total number of ways for this to happen so basically total ways to line up r objects out of n objects and when we line up the way we line up these r objects the order is important if you take from five elements three elements let's say a b c a b c will be different from b a c and so on we have discussed that now you saw that 5 p 3 is 60 what exactly do you think is 10 p 4 by that we mean 10 people you pick four people randomly by randomly i mean you you try all possible ways in which you can pick four people and these four people should take all possible pictures what are the total possible pictures that you can think of total ways to line up four people out of 10 people let us answer this question so you see there are these 10 people let's say a1 a2 up to a10 it might help to imagine them in different colors and you have four slots for you and the first slot can have any of these 10 numbers and once you put a fellow here from these 10 people you are left with nine choices for the next one and once you put someone here another one here you are left with eight choices for this one and as and always as you can see 10 here one less means nine here one less means eight here and one less here means seven so you can put in 10 ways a fellow here and you will be left with nine more ways for this eight more ways for this seven more ways for this you may want to pause here think about it now we should take the product of these which is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 is the number of ways in which we can pick four objects from 10 objects and line them up and consider all possible orderings so if it's not clear to you you probably should revise the rule of products so this concept isn't very straightforward of course there are easier ways of explaining this but i leave it to you for you to pause and think about what exactly one means by npr it is indeed very difficult for one to get it in the first attempt but as and when we encounter more examples it becomes very clear to you what one means by npr 